Welcome to the channel. We're gonna do a watering video. Why? Because I can't just have any set date. Because the weather doesn't cooperate. Let me go turn their air. Let's go turn their air conditioner off, guys. Then we'll get to work. So instead of watering Wednesday, it's just gonna be whenever I do it. Could be a Thursday. Could be a Friday. All right. Put them a new door on today. That is a floor mat. That shouldn't. Well, you guys, Lily was uh, afraid to go out it for about two hours, wasn't you? You don't like new things. You don't. In here with your radio brothers in his chair all right i gotta get to work you guys behave this room's a mess guys and last night i guess it stormed a little i don't know how much rain we got i don't think it was much because nothing came in there there was about an inch and a half in the dog's bowls that's really the only way i know how much rain we got all right, let's shut this one off. I finally went out and bought a new tee. But this year, I bought a brass one. Paid a little more because them plastic ones always break. And I spent some time out here today trimming on the tomatoes some more. As you can see, uh, I tied some of them back that were out to here now when you tie them you want to use like i use like an old t-shirt you want to use cloth you don't want to use wire or plastic cloth always works good uh see i got it like that here and you can you know untie them move them when you need to but these things are getting a lot bigger than i anticipated they'd get all right and i am not showing myself today I'm a mess. I've been laying around all day doing nothing. I ain't even put a brush in my hair or nothing. And the cilantro finally popped up. I cut the seed off of the dill today. Oh my God, does that stuff smell good. It smells like a pickle. <laughs> a pickle. And now my ghost pepper's looking real good. Nice and dark and green the way you want them. Let me make sure y'all can. Let me put this down a little bit for you guys. Got it on the chest plate, so I got two free hands. Now, it did get some rain last night. I don't exactly know how much, so I'm just giving these a light watering because it was pretty hot today. I'm not going to overdo it. Look at the peppers, how nice and dark green they are. It's been a really good year so far. You got a pepper coming in right there. <laughs> you got, oh, it's so cute. Well, there's one, a bigger, bigger one on that one. Wow, I didn't see that. Look at that guy, huh? He just come out of the bush. And I'm not gonna water any of that. Cause I can look at it and see that it's moist enough. There's my cherry tomato. Now, them don't get too big. That one's coming back. You know, a lot of trimming that I did on these helped. And you guys again. There we go. And that back row, I moved out a little bit. Because it was these things are getting so thick, it's hard to get in between them. I'm just going to kind of wet them down a little bit. I usually never hit the leaves. I'm going to give them a little, little drink. yeah there was pretty nasty storms last night but tulsa got hit really bad with wind a lot of people i know got trees down and we didn't get anything here i'm trying to see how this thing there we go now that's all right let someone else have it for a change i don't like anybody to have storm damage but i'm 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 way sick of getting it 
way sick of getting it. But we've lucked out on the last few storms. It kind of, it's like the, you know, a couple nights in a row, it just followed the same pattern and then it broke up. It wasn't strong by the time it got to us. I tried staying up last night. They can never pinpoint when they're coming here. And I fell asleep and it didn't wake me up. So must not have been too bad. And the tarp's still on the mower. So I know it didn't get real windy. And there wasn't a drop of water in the screen patio. Well, I'll forget you, little time. You don't need any more water. You're a, you're an herb. Giving them a quick little dousing. But I've noticed these marigolds. Of course, I bought them at Walmart for a dollar ninety-seven each. But they're not as good as the ones I had last year. But yeah, there are some different colored ones. That one's doing good. I think a lot of them have lost their flower and they're cycling over again. So they'll come back. Pretty evening. Can't be out too long. Mosquitoes will eat me alive. Darn skeeters. I don't want to get that Nile River vi virus that's going around, you know. That Nile River stuff's bad. See them mayors. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some big ones right there. Would you get out of the way? Got to get that guy. Blue boy some water over there. Yeah, these are probably the healthiest looking plants I've had. I did have to go through here. We must have had some winds because a lot of these were leaning over. So I had to restake them down. Some of these are getting so big, these cages aren't going to be able to hold them. I'm going to have to put stakes in there as well. But for the most part, uh, these pots do great for tomatoes. The nice thing is, you can just leave the soil in them. They're portable. Although I won't be moving moving these. Ah, oh, mosquitoes are killing me. I mean, they're killing me. Yeah, I went around today. I don't care how many times I go around. I'll come back and there's weeds again. But I missed some of them. But I'm trying to get all these lower leaves and suckers off there. There's one I didn't need to tie. I'm going to need to tie that up in a little while. They're all doing well. I do not have one single plant. That is not doing well. Now last year I had those hornworms come out. And uh, they stripped a couple of my tomato plants. But I haven't seen any evidence of them. They're really hard to see. They're green. So I, I don't see any evidence of them so far this year. And it it happened fairly early last year. But I did, I did hit these with 7 dust a few weeks ago. Sure all that's been rained off. And you can only use that so often. You can only do it a few times. But I haven't seen too many problems. I haven't seen anything eating on the leaves or nothing. What do you guys want over there? I saved my uh, paper towel rolls. And when I get about three or four of them, I'll throw them in there. Boy, do they have a blast with them. Hey. I'm trying to shoot a movie. Do you mind? When we get down here to the end, I'll show you something else I did, guys. This ain't going to be too long of a video, but... Just going to get them a little wet. Almost done with the majors. Let me pull this up a little bit. Do not kink up on me. Oh, that's, that's the one reason I like to hit the leaves. Because then you can smell them. They smell good. Oh, get that ochre. I, I do know that spaghetti squash needs... Hey! Hey! 
See what I gotta go through. Puppies. That's enough. All right, I'm not giving you any more sweets before bedtime anymore. Get those peppers. Oh, they don't listen. They're incorrigible, I tell you. They're, they're incorrigible. I was called that a lot in school. Incorrigible. I don't believe it. Get out of here, B. Whatever you are. One of them sweet bees. I like to hang out in Coke cans. Uh, I don't think those wildflowers, there's any, I think they're all weeds. We get that okri some water. Get in there, okri. All right, good enough. <sighs> My spaghetti squash is taken off. And I only have like this half trellis thing. So I took some wire today and just ran it across here. So as it grows, it's got something to climb on. So this ought to work out good. I ain't seen any uh squash beetles yet but they will be here trust me and all these peppers doing well Oops, i don't remember what they are jalapenos i think i put the tags in there well, where'd they go okay right here we got okay those are green bells and those are purple bells cool i didn't remember planting purple bells and Those are Fresno chilies. That's just a mess of weeds. Let me dig them up and hey. Let me dig them. And there's my watermelon. And that's how the last two years watermelon. It never gets any bigger than that. I suck at growing watermelons. Alright now. Alright, there's my oak tree. Yes, sir. All right, guys, so let's go take a peek at these little monsters while they're making all this noise. Listen to me. We got rules around here. When I'm making a movie, I want you guys to be perfect little angels. Do you understand me? I want behavior. Out of you, Dirty Nose. Out of you, Willie. Out of you, Lucy. Out of you, Lulu. How do you, Oreo? Give me that nose. Give me that nose. And they never settle down, guys. You go in there, it's like that. All the time. Because you guys are full of it. You, Dirty Nose. And Willie, Troublemakers. Well, his waddle's still out. Chick, chick. I think Waddles went to bed because he'll usually come out if I say that. Chick, chick. No, well, he's already up on the perch. Roost, whatever you want to call him. All righty, guys. Let's go look at these herbs over here. I'm not going to water them today either. Ooh, that sun's bright. You guys put your sunglasses on. I just like rubbing my fingers on and get a smell. Oregano. Oh, oh, that garden sage, mm, look at it, oh, that smells really good, you guys couldn't see it, could you, that oregano was going cray cray, all right guys, uh, I'm trying to hold off making videos, because my microphones were supposed to be here yesterday and they, or Friday and they never showed up. UPS lost them. So now they're in Fort Smith. They should be here tomorrow. I think you're going to notice a lot better quality in the sound in my videos. This probably isn't bad because I'm right here with the GoPro, but and they don't have the best microphones in the world. They're not bad, but you got to be close to them. So hopefully in the next video, which I got to do a review tomorrow. So hopefully they're here and I can use it for that. All right, guys. Happy trails. I'm waving at you. You see my stature? Ah, or my shatter? There's my shatter. Look how tall I look. I'm at least 30 feet tall. Happy trails.